At the end of an epic doubleheader race weekend, the Red Bull Global Rallycross Championship battle has been turned on its head. Round seven began with disaster for championship points leader, Nelson Piquet Jr. Piquet already making a move. Wow. Steve Arpin just turned into me, threw me in the wall. The car is done. Thanks, Steve. It would have been a hero move. I just don't know where he was planning on going. After a frantic team effort to repair his Ford Fiesta ST, Piquet failed to advance in the LCQ, missing the final for the first time this season. Yeah, the car wasn't obviously the best at LCQ. One of those days, you know racing but here we go when the green comes on we are racing who gets the start looks like scott speed got a good Asics jump is up the inside he's, he's got a fender on block four wide four wide how did ken block get out of that look at that tanner faust brings the vw beetle through to fourth but so far scott speed leading it out Oh, Austin Dine off the side of the course there. Block still, even in third, is in a good position here in the points chase. So this is going to mix things up incredibly in just one day how it changes from Nelson Piquet Jr. on top. We have four guys almost right on top of each other heading into the second half of the well. You can see a lot of smoke coming now from Faust's car. Tanner Faust pulling off. He looked so good. He was chasing down Ken Block. That's what he was looking for. Scott Speed wins in Los Angeles. Johnny Weeman coming in second. Ken Block comes in third to fill out that podium. Just got to keep doing what we're doing. I got to keep staying clean. I can't emphasize enough. Can't have any problems right now. It's so competitive at the front. The problems are going to make the difference. This is my second podium. The last one was in DC. So. I feel like I'm back now and this is good, really good for my self-confidence as well. Now it's a really big battle. Scott winning actually gave him a lot of points. You know, I got some good points for third. Uh, and Nelson with the, the DNF, you know, really changes the whole dynamic of things. As day two began, four drivers were within 10 points of the lead with PK and Ken Block tied at the top. But PK faced more adversity on Sunday as a jump start and lingering damage from round seven hampered his championship effort. We still haven't had time to really fix the car, you know. Thank God we made it to the final now and we just need to score a few points and uh, just don't lose track of, uh, of the championship. Fresh off his third victory of 2014, Scott Speed set third, just two points behind the leaders. But early trouble forced him into the LCQ. Oh! And now Speed's going backwards. He is into the wall. Looks like he's going to be out of this race. This is going to be a tight one. BK Jr. and Speed move through to the final. Here we go. Red lights on. They go off. We are racing in Los Angeles. Oh, Buck getting squeezed. And Reese Millen leading them out. Block needs to race smart here because he knows he's got this points lead and he knows that most of the contenders are right behind him. He's got a pretty decent pad on Weeman. Johnny Weeman hanging on to third. Is this Weeman taking the Joker? He's going to make a race of it, but I think Block's going to clear him. Reese Millen, who won his first ever Global Rallycross race in Daytona just a couple of weeks ago, he's in the lead over Ken Block. Reese Millen has one more turn to go, and he's going to do it. He gets his second win of his career, second win of the season for Reese Millen. Block comes over in second, and Johnny Weeman takes third. I just knew, you know, we had earned P1. If we got through turn two clear, there was no way anyone could keep up with this Hyundai Veloster. As the series heads to round nine in Seattle, the championship battle is wide open. Ken Block sits atop the point standings, 18 points clear of second place Johnny Weeman with Scott Speed in third. After starting the weekend with a 39-point lead, Nelson Piquet Jr. now sits 34 points off the pace in fourth. 